Today I'm going to be doing my August favourites and it's very exciting because I think I skipped on July. I don't think there was anything particularly loving so I just I didn't want to do one for the sake of it but I have a lot here that I've been loving throughout both of July and August. I thought I would kind of combine it and do one big favourites video and it's also really exciting because it's going to be a giveaway. So one of the products here that I'm so excited about, I'm going to be giving away a brand new one to one of you guys and I'll talk more about that later. But for now, let's go through everything. I have a combination of beauty, um, fashion, homey bits. So yeah, grab a brew or a really cold drink because it's been such a heat wave recently and let's get to it. I'm gonna start with the thing that I'm most excited about actually and I've had the pleasure of trying this over the past couple of weeks. I managed to get a hold of one um, early, which is very exciting. And it's the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation, which is called the Airbrush Flawless Foundation stays all day and night. I've actually had a sample of this, not in this particular bottle, I bought this one, but I had a deluxe sample of it that was sent to me from a PR company about a month ago. So I've actually been using it for the past, I wanna say three weeks at least. Um, so I've actually been using this for quite a while even though it's just come out and I love it guys. I think it's actually my favorite foundation that she's brought out just owing to the fact that it gives amazing coverage, it feels weightless on the skin, it's so nice and light. The shade selection is amazing as it is with all of her products. It feels great, it feels like a skincare product. And it says it's a matte finish, although I would definitely say it's a demi matte, so very natural, very skin-like. I wouldn't say it's an overly matte finish, um, personally. But the other great thing about this is just how long it lasts. It's absolutely incredible. It lasts from day to night. And I've worn this on my really sweaty days that we've had recently, and my skin has just stayed true. It doesn't oxidize, it doesn't slip and slide everywhere, it doesn't cake, it just feels incredible and it looks great. I've actually had quite a few compliments on my skin when I've been wearing this, which is always lovely, and the packaging is gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to ramble on about it too much because I am going to do an in-depth review of this and show you my skin before and after and apply it, but I'm very excited. I feel like if you were thinking about it, give it a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. It comes with a pump, which is fantastic. I mean, the packaging is just amazing, as it is with all of her products. So that is the first thing that I've been loving. And while we're here on Charlotte Tilbury, I'm going to talk about a product that I actually got a couple of months back when this launched. And I love this for just a night out, like a date night kind of thing. I don't wear it that much throughout the day, but I've had a lot of social occasions going on recently, a lot of gatherings, and I found myself reaching for it um, really frequently actually because it's just the perfect red. And it's one of her new hot lips, and this is the refillable, rechargeable lipsticks. And again, I mean the packaging, I will show you everything up close, is just gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful and the bullet is just incredible and um, there's loads of different shades all inspired by different women different sirens i think there's one based on jk rowling this one i have here is called um, viva la vergara which is of course sofia vergara and um, there's just so many i think susan sarandon and yeah it's just stunning but this one i thought would really suit my skin tone and it's just a really lovely ready brown warm shade which I've just been wearing so so much and um, I will show you this up close because I appreciate holding it quite far away might be quite challenging for you guys to see it but I really like it the formula is amazing it stays put it's very hydrating even though it is a matte finish it doesn't kind of it doesn't make your lips dry it doesn't kind of ball up and look very unflattering and expose any lines it's just a really lovely comfortable formula with a matte finish so yeah been super enjoying that and I get a lot of compliments when I wear it which is always a winner for me. So that is the next thing that I've been loving. I'm going to move on now to another lipstick that I've been wearing and this is one that I wear through the day and this is such an unlikely hero for me because I didn't actually get this myself. My mum got it me for my birthday and I just saw it and didn't think too much of it but I've been reaching for it so so much and it's by Christian Dior and it's the Lips Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. So this is actually one of those lip glosses that's meant to plump your lips and make them look naturally fuller. My lips are quite naturally full so I, I don't use Use it for that I just love the color and the finish when I told my mum this was a lip plumper she said oh I just like the color and I thought it'd be great for every day she's totally right um, it's a beautiful finish it's not sticky at all and it I just really like it I wore this in the vlog that I um, did recently not the most recent one the one before that um, when I went to town and I had a lot of questions about it um, what I was wearing on my lips that day and it was this and this is so nice when you have a tan because it's that really lovely frosty kind of gloss but it's not sticky and it does plump. It kind of has this peppermint tingle to it. 
and it does naturally plump up your lips which is really nice because I'm not the kind of person that would have fillers or anything like that, it's just not for me. Um, so if you're looking for something like that but a bit more of a natural finish um, then I would definitely check this out for sure, it's really lovely. I'm going to move on now to some body care, so the first thing I want to talk about is this Rose Dewy Glow Mist by The Body Shop. Oh my goodness guys, I've had about three of these over the past few months and I just love them so much. I think I had so many of them because they came in the advent calendar last year and I had all three. So I have two or three in my collection and I just love it so much. It's basically a rose water mist but there's something about this that just makes the skin look so luminous when you wear it. It does have illuminating properties and it's makeup friendly so you can spritz it on over your makeup. And it's so refreshing and it just wakes everything up, it refreshes your skin, it cools you down and honestly this has just been such a godsend in this heat wave. Pop it in my handbag, give my face a bit of a spritz and it, it doesn't give you that sweaty look um, that some sprays can give you when they're overly illuminating. This one is just very dewy, very natural, with that gorgeous scent of rose. Um, and I really like it. This is, again, something that I wouldn't have naturally gone and bought had it not been in the advent calendar, which is why I love trying things from advent calendars because you get to try things that you wouldn't normally have gone and picked up. And FYI, I am going to be unboxing their calendars this year, so I hope you guys are all excited about it. It's not too far away now, which is crazy, so I have been really enjoying that. I hope you can get it on the website. I'll try and link that down below. I don't know if it's like an exclusive or something like that, but I had to mention it because I've been loving it so much. The next thing I'm going to mention is also something by The Body Shop, and I have been using this so much. So, I've been wearing a lot of dresses recently, I've been wearing a lot of shorts, I've had the legs out a lot guys, I'm not going to lie, like I've just been really enjoying it. Since my weight loss, I've just had this real confidence boost and just been loving wearing new things and experimenting with fabrics and textures and just, I've just been loving it guys, what can I say? And to get my legs summer ready, I've been using a combination of two products that I'm going to talk about, but this one is the base thing. This is the thing that I've been using as a skincare aid. And this is the Ethiopian Green Coffee of Firming Body Cream. So this is basically a body cream that firms up the skin. And I do get cellulite on my thighs, like I feel like most people do. And the great thing about this is not only does it cool the skin, it's kind of this pistachio colour, but you just rub it onto your thighs. I do it twice a day because it's so refreshing, it's so cooling. And I basically just rub it on, um, it's kind of replaced the dry brushing for me and I've just noticed such a difference in cellulite, how it looks, how it feels. And it works into the skin so quickly and it dries fast, it doesn't impact on your clothing, it's not sticky, it has an amazing scent. The scent is quite hard to place actually, but it smells very fresh, very herbal, which I really do like. A lot of times um, creams like this smell of peppermint or coffee, so it's nice to have something that's a bit fresher. Um, and yeah, I've just been really enjoying it, so I will link that down below, you guys can go and check it out. I'm a real big fan of the Spa of the World range in general, I love a lot of their products. I feel like it's a really fantastic quality at not such a massive price point, so if you do want to try things like this, this range is super, super good, so I will link that down below. The next thing I've been doing is then moisturising. I've been really making sure to take care of my skin recently just because more is on display, guys. I've just been, I've just been taking care of it. I've just been toning it. I've been brushing it. I've been just doing loads of things to it. It's just been such a nice ritual at night. And that kind of is a play on words because the next product I'm going to talk about is actually by the brand Rituals, which is one of my favourite, favourite brands like I've been using Rituals since it's got to be at least 10 years guys I've been loving it that much I think the first product I ever came across from Rituals actually came in a glossy box or a birch box which is crazy because I don't I've not subscribed to those companies for, for like a decade and I've been using their products ever since and I actually unboxed their advent calendar last year which I'm going to be doing again this year which I'm very excited about but this is something that I actually bought myself after discovering the scent in the um, advent calendar and this is the Ritual of Happy Buddha Buddha Belly Body Cream and this is exactly what it says on the tin so it's a, it's a firming cream, it's a moisturiser but the thing I love about this the most is the texture, it's like a really thick whipped cream and it blends into the skin beautifully and again it doesn't impact, it's not sticky or heavy but the other thing that is just absolutely bewitching about this is the scent of orange that it comes with. You guys will know I'm a sucker for an orange, I eat one every single day so if I can smell like an orange, 
I'm basically on board for that and this is such an authentic bitter orange smell like sour authentic orange and I absolutely adore it um again the formula is amazing I use this all over my body but particularly on my stomach because I'm trying to tone things up there at the moment because I have a lot of loose skin and I've definitely noticed the difference but also this really impacts on my mental health like it really impacts on how I feel I feel so much happier and more energized and comforted and more positive when I use this I don't know why that is but I just feel like a shot of happiness when I use it which is incredible from a body cream so I would definitely recommend that especially if like me you're an orange fiend you will love this for sure and I use it day and night because again it, it dries and soaks into the skin super quickly so yeah I've been loving that so much I wouldn't be without it now the next thing that I've been using for my body actually comes from the brand Skinny Tan and this is such again it's such an unlikely hero for me it's something that had I not been sent it I would never have picked it up but there was a day when the sun came out unexpectedly here in the UK which can happen sometimes it just kind of pops out when you don't really realize and my legs hadn't been tanned they hadn't been prepped as I would like but I wanted to wear a dress I thought you know what the sun's out I want to get the legs out so this is a wonder serum and what this basically is it's kind of like Sally Hansen's airbrush legs is a gel that comes out very very dark brown but then you work it into the skin in fact let's give it a little bit of a try for you guys so all you would do is pop a bit on your hand and it is very very dark it's quite intimidating but you just pop it on like this rub it into the skin and it just gives the skin a really lovely natural glow and just covers up any imperfections any veins any discoloration it seeps in really quickly does it come off on clothes and it's just perfect for days when you've not tanned you want to get the legs out but you feel a little bit pale a little bit insecure this is like it's like a filter for your legs that's the only way I can describe it it's a really good product I really like it it just gives a really nice silky skin appeal it feels really soft and smooth and it gives an iridescent bronzed glow which who doesn't want that I mean bone structure looks amazing when you've applied it I'm just a big fan of this I like skinny tan products in general actually I think they're really good and they're a great price point they're not like mega expensive but they're not like mega cheap either they're kind of somewhere in the middle um, and it's a it's quite a long lasting finish actually unless you wash it off it stays put and it doesn't rub off onto clothing which I like so yeah and it's cruelty free this brand as well which is really really great and it's also suitable for vegans as well so if you're looking for something similar and you are a vegan or if you're really passionate about making sure things are cruelty free this could be a good shout for you guys. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a hair product. And I've been, like, honestly, guys, my hair really needs cutting. I keep mentioning it, but I'm just, I'm struggling to get in with my stylist. And I'm really precious about who cuts and styles and colours my hair. So I'm kind of just in limbo at the moment with it. But I have noticed because it's getting that much thicker and that much heavier because more hair is growing. It has been that little bit drier. So I've been using the Naughties to the Rescue Intense Moisture Treatment. And this is great as well for the warmer weather because my hair doesn't tend to get greasy. It tends to get dry and brittle when it's warm. So I've just been using this whenever I wash my hair, particularly on the ends of my hair. And it's just been making them feel really soft and really bouncy and nourished. And I really like it. It actually tames um, frizzy and damaged hair as well. It kind of really intensely moisturizes it so it repairs it. But it also tames frizz, which is great for me because I've got very naturally wavy and curly hair. This is also vegan friendly. It has no parabens, no petrochemicals, no sulfates, no silicones. It's vegan friendly. It's organic, 97% natural. So yeah, that's a really good one. And the smell of this is incredible. Honestly, I've used so much of it. It smells like marzipan. It, it smells good enough to eat. I think that's one of the main reasons I love it. It's just in the bath, I feel like, ugh, I feel like I could eat it, guys. What can I say? I really do enjoy using that. And again, it's an unlikely hero that I wouldn't have tried. And then the last beauty product I have to talk about is my perfume of the moment that I've been wearing for a while. And it's the Chanel Chance. I've been wearing Chanel perfume since I was about 17. It's kind of like a home away from home for me. Signature scents. My favourites are the Mademoiselle and this one here, which is Chance. And it's just such a comforting fragrance for me. It just smells like home. It's clean. It's fresh. It's classic. It smells expensive. It smells like every boots counter that you'll ever visit or Debenhams. But I just love it so much. It's such a nostalgic scent for me. It's such a hit of comfort. And I really enjoy it. So if you're looking for something that's very very comforting very heavy very expensive very heady but fresh at the same time i would definitely check chanel perfumes out in general they all have that signature chanel scent or note to them it's so hard to describe but again so classic and so familiar so yeah i got this for my birthday 
after not wearing it for a couple of years and I'm stoked to have this in my collection again. It's only a tiny one, um, it's a 30mm but it's definitely more than enough for me at the moment because my perfume collection is pretty crazy. If you would like to see an updated perfume collection, comment down below and let me know. Okay, so moving on to the fashion segment of the program now, and I'm going to talk about this dress. So I've been loving my shift dresses recently, and um, this one that I'm actually wearing is by Monkey. I adore it. It's just such a flattering dress. I wear it so, so much. The perfect length, the perfect cut. I adore it. So this should definitely be in my favourites as well. But another one that I've been wearing so, so much, and one that you guys have definitely been asking about a lot, is this one by Wednesday's Child. It's actually a pretty similar shape to the one that I'm wearing, other than... The fact this is short sleeved and obviously bright pink but they're both polka dot they're both that classic t-shirt kind of cut but i just love it these have the pleats in the bottom as well um so you could wear it with a belt or you could let it hang free like i do i just really like it it was actually the color of this that attracted me to it this hot salmon pink like a fluorescent color which really suits my olive skin tone and i just wear it a ton it's a dirty fabric it's easy to wear you can wear it with heels on a night out or you could wear it with sneakers with sandals and it looks great. I really enjoy it. Again, it's by Wednesday's Child. This I'm wearing in the excess and it fits perfectly. Monkey is quite oversized. This one I have in the size 8 and again, it's just beautiful. So I really love that. And again, I get a ton of questions when I wear it from you guys as to where it's from. So I will link it down below. The next thing I have is my denim shorts. So I've been wearing these pretty much on the daily when I've not worn a dress when it's been nice outside. And I just love, like, they go with everything. They go with t-shirts, camis, vest tops, like... They're just the perfect cut. And what I love about these shorts as well is they're not too short. Like, they come to a really nice length on the thigh. I'm finding recently that shorts are all very much like Daisy Duke, bum cheek showing, everything out for everyone to see shorts, which is fine if you want to rock that look. But I feel like a lot of us don't. A lot of us kind of want our bum cheeks in our shorts. Um, and these do that. They come to a really nice length. They're a really good cut and fit. And they have the distressed bottoms as well, which makes them look a little bit kind of more, I don't know, casual, boyfriend style. I just really like them. These are by New Look. I have them in the size 8 and they fit like a dream. And they come to a really nice length, again, which is super important to me. And the last fashion item, apart from an accessory I have, and one of my favourite things actually that I picked up recently, and I wore them to death already. They're great to drive in, they're great to go walking in, they're great to go shopping in. They are literally the perfect sandal, and it is these from Topshop. I actually got these in the Topshop shape. Oh my god, that is such a tongue twister. Top Shop sale recently, and they're these gorgeous lattice suede real leather sandals. These were quite pricey full price, but I actually got them for £15. They were 40 originally, and then my sister, who recently finished working for Topshop because she's gone back to uni, um, got me her staff discount on them as well, so I actually got a double discount on these, which is always amazing. And I have just wore them so much. The suede, the quality, they are so different. They look so, so expensive. They do not look like high street sandals at all. And I've just been adoring them. And I get a ton of questions when I wear these. And again, they're easy to drive in. They're comfortable. And I've just, yeah, I've been loving them. I wear them so, so much. So I had to give those a shout out. Oh, and I forgot to mention this actually um, in the beauty section. This loofah, which looks a little bit wistful wear at the moment, but I had to mention it because it is so, so good. If you're looking for something that's going to strip off dead skin cells, muckiness, fake tan, everything like that, and just get your skin back to basics, back to where it was before you applied any creams and tans and products, this is fantastic. I actually came across this because I was looking for a fake tan remover, and the woman said to me, like, do you want to try this loofah first? She said, because I bought fake tan removers in the past. I spent 10 to £15 pounds on them, which is kind of expensive considering they're just taking a product off um and she said that she uses this and she swore by it and it's just Brutes his own brand and it's just like a loofah like a mitten that you put your hand in and it's so abrasive it just gets everything off including fake tan so I love that and I had to give it a shout out so if you are looking for something similar I would check that out the only thing is like we're heading into autumn pretty much now so how much I exfoliate I definitely do get a little bit lazier with body exfoliation in the autumn and winter but I've been enjoying that and it's always in the bathroom. My mugs that I got um, from a charity shop. Now these were actually originally from Next, but I got them a charity shop in Upper Mill, which is near where I live, and I just adore them. They're absolutely beautiful. I use them 
every single day. I, I get so many compliments on them when I use them, when I give them to friends, when they come around for a coffee or a brew. They're just so different. They're kind of like terracotta pots on the bottom and then they have this like stony speckle print. They're just gorgeous. Again, they're originally from Nex. I really like them. So yeah, I have these and I don't think I'll be able to link these particular ones because again, I got them from a charity shop, but I'll link the vlog above where I got them because I was stoked to find them. The next thing I got is also something that I got in a recent vlog, a different vlog. I'll link that above, but it's my Oliver Bonus Marble Chopping Board and this brings me so much joy you would not even realise. Like honestly, any opportunity I get to use this and I do cheese, fruit, spices, everything i will use this everywhere i can it's 100 percent marble it's mega mega heavy it has this gorgeous leather with golden button tie on it and i just yeah i adore it it's like a little cloud in my kitchen and i'm just all about it i can't get enough of it and then the final thing i'm going to talk about oh god i didn't mention my other bonus headband i'm so unorganized guys but yeah i love this headband i've been wearing it so so much gemstone headband by oliver bonus i will link it it's stunning i've been wearing that a lot and then finally the most exciting section of the home part is this sealer so this is also the giveaway prize as well not this one i have a brand new one downstairs this is basically a, a food bag sealer so it's a, an amazing product for me where i buy things in bulk especially when it comes to meat steaks things like that um chicken thighs chicken breasts or anything that you want to separate in your freezer to create space um, this is amazing for that. It's basically a bag sealer that vacuums out the air of the bag and then seals it. It's so good for food waste. I am such a gadget contraption person when it comes to things in my kitchen. I love it all. And this is just so handy. I didn't think I would use this as much as I have, but I adore it. It comes with these really fantastic bags. And all you do is you put the food that you want to vacuum pack kind of like clothing vacuum ones where they kind of suck all the air out and make everything more efficient. It's like that for food and you can put it in the fridge, in the freezer, whatever. Get one of the bags out, put the food in it, pop it into here, shut the lid and it will suck all of the air out and it will seal the bag as well. It's incredible. I love it so much. Again, I got this off Amazon. It's by the brand, it's either pronounced a box or a box, not too sure, but it's absolutely incredible. So if you would like one of these for your kitchen, and honestly, I could not recommend it enough. It comes with everything that you need to flat pack and seal, you know, perishable goods, food, liquids even. It's just, it's insane. It's so, so good. If you would like to win one of those, just comment down below that you would like to win one. Um, it is international. I don't care where I ship it. You guys are worth it. Um, so yeah, comment down below. You must be subscribed to my channel, obviously. Um, and comment with what you're most looking forward to when it comes to autumn, which is right around the corner, because I'd be so excited to hear about that. I'm such a sucker for talking about the autumn winter. So yeah, if you want to be in a chance of winning this, like this video, comment down below with what you're looking forward to when it comes to the autumn, and um, give this a thumbs up. And that is, that is it. That is everything that you have to do. Um, and I will get one shipped out to you guys for you to use. It'll come with a pack of these 10 bags. Um, all boxed, all sealed, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, you'll see it in a lot in my What I Eat In A Day is like, because even though I only recently got this a couple of weeks ago, I've been using it a ton. So yeah, I definitely would recommend that if you're in the kitchen a lot like me and you bulk by. It's just so, so handy. So yeah, comment down below. Like, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be in it with the chance of winning that. It's going to happen for a week. I'm going to let it run for a week. I'll announce the winner on the community section and I'll ship it anywhere. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys, don't forget to check out the description box for the giveaway terms and the links to all of the products that I've spoken about as well as what I'm wearing. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye!